Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. Recently, the CEO of ASML of the Netherlands made a shocking statement, accusing China of disrespecting industry rules by exporting 28 nanometers lithography machines. ASML believes that this behavior not only violates technical rules, but may also disrupt the order of the global semiconductor industry. However, the question is, what are the so-called industry rules? Who sets these rules? Who is afraid of fair competition? From a certain perspective, China's rise especially its breakthrough in lithography technology, does make some technology hegemons anxious. ASML previously monopolized the global high-end lithography market, and many countries could only rely on imports, and even repeatedly were controlled by others in the procurement process. Every negotiation in the past seemed to be looking at other people's faces. Now, China has broken this pattern through its self-developed 28 nanometers lithography machine. What surprised some people even more is that this equipment not only has excellent performance, but also has a price far lower than one-third and one-quarter of ASML's similar products. The disrespect accused by ASML is essentially a panic about China's technological breakthroughs. In fact, the real disrespect is those who try to suppress innovation by blocking technology. The market should be a place for fair competition and China's rise has broken this long-standing unfair rule with practical actions. China's breakthrough in the field of lithography not only represents a technological victory, but also a counterattack against discourse power. 76% of the global chip demand comes from processes of 28 nanometers and above and China's 28 nanometers lithography just fills this market gap. Its successful mass production not only lowers the technical threshold, but also gives more companies and countries the opportunity to participate in the core links of chip manufacturing. More importantly, this technological breakthrough marks a key step for China in the field of high-end manufacturing. But this is just the beginning. Whether China can continue to catch up with or even surpass other countries in higher process technology in the future will be a long-term challenge. Although the advent of the 28 nanometers lithography machine has allowed many people to see the potential of China's technological innovation, the next task is still arduous. China's success is not accidental. It stems from the silent struggle of countless scientific researchers, the strong support of the national will, and the nation's desire for independent innovation. From two bombs and one satellite, to high-speed rail technology, and then to artificial intelligence, China has proved time and again that seemingly impossible tasks can become a reality through unremitting efforts. The breakthrough of lithography is also a manifestation of this spirit. ASML's panic is not only because of the loss of market share, but also because the technological hegemony it relies on is facing challenges. China's rise has proved to the world that technological blockades cannot stop the pace of innovation. As the classic saying goes, 
There is no technology that falls from the sky, only down-to-earth catching up. Although China has made remarkable achievements in the research and development of 28 nanometers lithography machines, the road ahead is still full of thorns. Behind the technological breakthrough are countless failures and huge capital investment. The sustainability of innovation will test China's scientific and technological system and resource allocation capabilities. How to break more technical barriers and how to deal with market resistance will be long-term challenges facing China. However, these challenges cannot stop the pace of progress. China's breakthrough in lithography technology has taught the world a vivid lesson. Innovation is not the patent of a few countries, and the real technological peak belongs to those countries that dare to challenge and break through. Through self-reliance and courageous innovation, China has not only broken the past technological blockade, but is also redefining the rules of global scientific and technological competition. It is undeniable that China's scientific and technological development has indeed been subject to many constraints and challenges in the past, and there have been neck-stuck difficulties but these experiences have made China what it is today. Every innovation and breakthrough is inseparable from the hard work of countless scientific researchers, and also inseparable from the country's support and attention to technological development. In the future, with the continuous acceleration of scientific and technological progress, China has reason to believe that the stage for scientific and technological innovation will be broader. On this road, China must not only break through the current technological barriers, but also promote the development of world science and technology in a more fair and open direction through continuous innovation and global cooperation. Although challenges still exist, China is confident that it will go further on the road of continuous innovation. Although this breakthrough in lithography technology is only a beginning, it undoubtedly means that China is emerging and has broken the rules of technological monopoly and inequality with its own strength. I believe that in the future scientific and technological competition, China will use its innovative spirit and pragmatic attitude to write more legends of its own.